in their life. Welcome to the Winning in Work and Home podcast with Damon Eddy. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy, happy Monday, uh, January 4th. First, uh, I guess, uh, Monday of the new year. So I wanted to to welcome you to that. Um, the title of this podcast and what I want to talk about is What If? Uh, I was thinking about that this morning. I listened to a um, a talk on YouTube the other day and this question was kind of brought up if you were to, um, you know, what would be different uh, for you, your family, and the world around you, um, if you realize your vision, if there were certain things that you changed, certain things that you began to pursue or go after. So uh, I, I like that question, um, what would be different or, or what if? I think it's an important question um, to often ask ourselves because I think anything that we look to achieve in our life, I think it, it first has to start with a vision, right? It always starts in the mind. Uh, it always starts with a vision. And, and the clearer that vision, um, the clearer that we can uh, see that in our mind and maybe ask ourselves the questions, you know, what if, what would happen if, um, you know, what would it be like? I think those are important questions to ask ourselves because you know, those visions that we have in our life, those things that we see, um, the stories that we tell ourselves affect the actions that we take. And I, I think it's so important then that we have strong visions that we, that we, because, you know, with the way everything is and the way that naturally it seems that we go to the negative stories, we go to the negative things and the more that we can work on uh, having a, a more positive vision, uh, I think that's tremendous. Ooh, just got a low battery on my phone as I'm going live here on Facebook, so hopefully that'll keep going. But I, but I wanna ask you some questions, so let's get, let's get to it here. What would happen in 2021? Um, maybe the first question would be, what would happen if you showed more courage? What would happen if you showed more courage in your life? I think that's I think that's a tremendous question to answer. You know, I love Brene Brown has a great courage quote and it says courage is contagious. Every time we choose courage, we make everyone around us a little better and the world a little braver. So what what if in 2021 you showed more courage? And that's a good question to ask yourself. What can I show more courage in? Where can I show more courage in my life? You know, the conversations that I may need to have, the, the things that I may need to uh, pursue or do, whatever it may be, right? A, a lot of times it could, be, it could be tough conversations in a relationship and, and too often we get worried about what the outcome may be. And that's not showing courage when those conversations may need to be had. Had. What's up, Steve? Um, I, I, think it, I think it's tremendous. So what if in 2021 you did show more courage? Uh, I think as Brene Brown was saying, you, you would make the world around you a little braver, right? And if you have kids and if you have, uh, you know, maybe people that are, that are watching you or people that look up to you, showing more courage, you then make them just a little bit more braver. So, so think about that. Think about that. What if you showed more courage in 2021? This kind of leads into the second thing. What if you didn't worry about what others thought or you didn't let what others may or may not think dictate your actions of who it is you want to be and what it is that you may want to pursue? I, th I think so often the reason why we don't do certain things and the reason why we may not pursue things and our passions and our in our life that we may want to pursue is the, we, we get worried about what other people may think, right? We don't show courage. We get worried about failing, right? I love this quote, as is our confidence, so is our capacity. As is our confidence, so is our capacity. 
And sometimes what we do is we worry about what other people may think. We worry. I mean, it comes up for me doing this podcast, right? I'm like, gosh, why would, you know, who the heck wants to watch, you know, why would you do that podcast too? People may think it's, you know, dumb or whatever, right? It's a, that mental mindset, right? <laughs> but, but I got to go show courage to, to turn on the, uh, the live button and, and rock and roll with it. And, and hopefully what will happen because of this may, you know, maybe, you know, the, the thing that I love about this is, is I think, you know, these things, these videos ho hopefully will hold in time. And, you know, my kids may enjoy watching these when I'm gone. You know, maybe they'll enjoy watching at some particular point. I don't know. But, but what if in 2021 you didn't worry so much about what other people thought? And you went ahead and you kind of you kind of tuned it out to a certain extent, and you, and you did, and you really went after or were the person that you wanted to be, and and and, and you weren't sh so worried about maybe what others might think or pleasing others. So think about that. I, th I think that's an important question because you know so much of of, of what we do, I think, unfortunately moves through the filter of what other people may think or not think, and then we adjust accordingly. What if we didn't do that? What if we just listen to what's in our heart, we listen to what God may have put in there, the things, the desires, and we just, you know, I guess unbridled, if that's an okay way to put it, went after those things that we, we want, that we pursue, or the, the, the person that we want to be. I think it's tremendous, so... Okay, what about this one, the third one? What if in 2021 you surrendered more? Now, this is an interesting one, right? What if you surrendered more? What if you stopped fighting, trying to do it all and let God? And this, this is an interesting one, you know? So often what we do is we try to control so much. We try to, you know, control others. We try to control or change our kids, right? Which we need to have influence. We need to do that. But so often what we do is... is you know, we can only do what we can do. And what we do is if, if, we, if we don't surrender, I guess, the uh, results or the outcome, we're always, try, we're always maybe disappointed. You know, because, because, you know, that person that we're in relationship, most of the time aren't going to, you know, be perfect, right? They're not, none of us are perfect. And when we try to control and we try to, we try to, um, I don't know if dictates the right word, but what if we just surrender more? What if we just focus more on what we could do? Uh, what if we just focused on, you know, stop fighting, stop controlling, to go through the day and to be more thankful and, and, and just to kind of maybe slow down a little bit and say it's, it's okay, it's all right. You know, so often what we do is, is, we, is we, it's like we're paddling upstream, like we're just fighting life. And that doesn't mean that you sit back and you don't do anything and you just kind of let life flow. Is, um, but, but you know, you, you identify what, what you can do as a person, what, what's right for you to do. Um, you, you do the actions that you need to take, but, but you surrender, I guess, the results. You know what I'm saying? I, I, think, I think that's important. I think too often we, we fight life and, and life is life and we're going to have the ups and downs. There's going to be challenges. Things are going to to happen that we may not like. And the only thing that we can control is we can control our actions and what we do. So if we can just surrender that a little bit more in 2021 um, and just really focus on the actions, what we can do and surrender the rest, surrender the rest, I think that would be tremendous. Tremendous. Another one, what if, what if we um, really, I mean, I mean really worked on our intimacy with God? What if we really did that? What if, what if, we, what if we, we took some time to really figure out what works for us? What works for us? What does it for us? Because I think it's different for everyone. I think, I think it is. And, and what if we really, really worked on that? What if we said, you know what? I'm not, I'm not just going to go through the motions. I'm not just going to go to church on Sunday and maybe pray right before I go to to bed and then kind of fall asleep and not really be into it. I'm not going to worry about that so much, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify what really, really works for me. What works for me? You know, an example may be, 
you know, taking a taking a, a lunchtime walk around the park that you may work or whatever it is, getting outside and just being, you know, looking around and seeing na- nature and, and being thankful. You know, maybe that's your intimacy with God, and that's fine. There's no, there's no, I don't think right or wrong way to do it, but I think what happens is we get so caught up in, in what what may or may not be or what the world thinks is the correct way that we need to find our intimacy with our with God and, and what if you just really worked on what what works for you to feel that connection to feel that relationship you know I, I've been journaling and, and I can't believe I have not been journaling more and here it is you know I accepted Christ as my Savior when I was about 10 years old and here I am just now in the past probably two years, really understanding journaling. And that's my way. That's my way. I I write everything down. I write my hurts, my aches, my pains, my, my, my victories, what I'm feeling. I just write it. I write it down and that's what works for me. That's my prayer time. And, and, and that, that, that works for me. So finding out what works for you and, and it could be the most unique thing. I don't know, but, but find it, try to, try to figure out what that is, I think will be tremendous. So find that intimacy. What, what about this one? What if in 2021, in our relationships, whatever those relationships are, right? We chose to do no less, no less than one specific act of kindness for the other person. What if every single day, every single day, we just chose to do one act for that other person that's in our life that speaks to them, right? That speaks to their love language. Not two, not three, not five, just one thing. What if in 2021 you did that and then you surrendered, okay? Or you gave without any expectations but you chose in 2021 to, to do just one act a day for your spouse, for your boyfriend, for your girlfriend, whatever it may be. This one, just one. Identify what it is. Be, you know, think about it. If it's, if it's acts of service, you know, do something. Do the dishes. If it's, if it's quality time, spend the time. If it's, if it's a gift, you know, give a nice little gift of a note, whatever it is. Words of affirmation, if it's that, just say one kind thing, one encouraging thing. It can't be that hard to say one encouraging thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, now, the thing is here is we need to make sure if we're going to do this in 2021, that again, we don't worry about how we may feel, right? We just do the right thing no matter how we may be feeling at that particular time. We don't worry about what that other person may or may have not done for us because what if in 2021 you made the choice to not worry about that you were going to do the right thing no matter what you you were going to say the kind thing you were going to do the nice act you were going to give the the small little gift you were going to hold the hand or give the hug whatever it may be and you weren't going to let you know maybe what you were feeling that particular day guys if if we if if we ran our life on what it is and how we feel as opposed to, to what's the right act. I mean, I don't know, it'd be rough. There's a lot of days I don't feel like doing anything. You know, I don't feel like working out or I don't feel like saying the kind word or I don't feel like being patient with my kids. But, you know, so what if in 2021 you're to do no less than one specific kind thing to that person in your relationship? I think it'd be tremendous. What if, what if you have kids? If you have kids, what if, what if you emphasized the beautiful, wonderful qualities your children had every single day and you didn't focus on the negative, but you focused on the good? Every single day, every single day you said encouraging words. Every single day you looked and you found what were the good qualities in your children and you emphasized that as opposed to seeking out more of what they did or didn't do, what they may not be good at. What if, what if every single day in 2021 you were to do that? Do you think it'd make a difference in their life? Do you think they would, they would maybe show more of those good qualities? I I think, I think it would be tremendous. 
So what if every single day you emphasize and you focused on the good things that your kids did? The good qualities. Guys, it gets me emotional thinking about it. You know, look back at your life, guys. Just look back at your childhood. Look back. Look back at how that would have affected you. How would that have affected you if your kids, if your parents every single day growing up encouraged and emphasized the amazing qualities that you have as an individual? Do you think that would have helped? Hell yeah, it would have helped. It would have helped tremendously. If, if your parents would have sought out those good qualities, those good gifts that you had and emphasized those and said, you know what, you, you're, you, you know, you have some strengths here, you should use them. And you know, every single day, it may, when I'm talking about it, it may not be the, you know, the sitting down and the, and the uh, you know, the deep in-depth conversations of their qualities and their good things, right? But every single day, if, if you were to say a kind word to them, just like we talked about with your spouse, if you were, if you were to say something nice and kind, I think that would make an incredible difference in their life. And just think how that would affect down the road, right? For them communicating to other people, for them and their relationships, for them and their confidence, going out into a world that is pretty rough, that is pretty tough, right? How do you think that would affect them? If you stop focusing on the negative, stop focusing on what they may or may not do, you know, they might be six, eight, 12, I mean, I don't know. I think I just started to figure out life just a little bit the last two years of my life, last three years of my life. My gosh, sometimes we expect our kids to figure it out or behaving a certain way when they're 18, 19, or 20, 21, or 15, or 13. I don't know. You know, it doesn't take too much for me to put it in perspective to look at my life and look at what I was doing at 18 or 20 or 21. Really, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on now. I just uh, got my closet in order last week. It's a mess. Getting better at it. That's in 2021. One of the things that I'm trying to do better is keep a cleaner closet. So I just got rid of so much clothes. It makes it a lot easier that way. What about this one? I think this is a huge one, guys. I think this is a huge one. What if in 2021 you love the body God has given you? I mean, you really loved it. You didn't worry about your weight. You didn't worry about it maybe getting softer or saggier or wrinkles or, you know, you didn't focus on those things. But you were thankful for the amazing uniqueness that it is. So what if in 2021? What if? You know, this speaks a lot to, to the women. You know, I think guys, it's not as big of a, of a deal, right? But what if in 2021 you appreciated the body that God's given you? I think it would work. I think it would be tremendous. You really the uniqueness of it. You know, you, it's so crazy. Sometimes we get caught up on what the perfect body looks like. All the social media, all this different Instagram, the you know the uh, uh, you know the lighting that they do, and all these different things. It's come on now. Come on, if, if, if you can really appreciate and love the body that God's given you, and, and I think if you do that, right, you will take better care of it, right? I think you'll want to put good food in it. I think you'll want to do a little bit of the exercise. I think you'll want to do it, but, but if you really, really love it, you know, because you're unique, and it's the only body you got, what are you going to do about it? it? Really, in a certain sense, what are you going to do about it? You're going to trade it in? You're not going to trade it in. It's the body that you have. It's, it's the, it's the hips that you have. It's the, whatever it may be, you know, the skin elasticity, I don't know, but it, but it's really, really true. I think sometimes we're too harsh on ourselves in, in so many different ways. We need to love ourselves. We need to love the body that God's given us. We need to love that uniqueness of it. And I think it's tremendous. So what if in 2021, you stop beating yourself up about it? Now that's not saying to sit back and you know, not do anything about it. It's like, oh, I love my body and, and you just eat what you want to eat and you don't exercise because, you know, that's a little rough. You're probably not going to, um, you know, be feeling too good about those decisions, right? But what if you if you really looked at it and say, you know what, I love my body, it is unique. It's tremendous, you know, because it is so true. I mean, you see that with people. When, when I look at people now, I just, 
It's so interesting. Everybody is so unique and everybody is so different. And if they can understand the beauty in that and they can appreciate that and they, and they can really understand the gift of what God has given them in their body, whatever, whatever it may be. I mean, if you got, if you got it, two eyes and you got two ha- arms and you got hands, I mean, I mean, how valuable are those things to you? How much, how much, I mean, how much money do you think it, you know, would you give up to, uh, you know, cost to give up like your right arm or your eye or to see or to hear or to all these different things? There's not enough money in the world anyways for me. And, and appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate your body, no matter what it is. Um, it's, it's a beautiful gift. So what if in 2021 you actually did that? All right, guys, we're going to end it here. Hopefully that helped tremendously. Some what ifs in 2021. Some what ifs. What if? What if you were to show more courage? What if you were to not worry about what other people thought so much and it didn't dictate what you wanted to pursue or who you wanted to be? What if you surrendered more? What if in 2021 you surrendered more? Stop fighting. Stop going upstream and trying to fight. It doesn't mean not do but that means surrender. You take care of the actions. You take care of the things that you can do and, and just, you know, let, let, let the results flow where they may. And what if you really, really worked on intimacy with God? You really found out what it is that you need to do, what it is. Find it. Find it. And what if in 2021 you, you did no less than one incredibly kind acts of service, whatever that may be, or kind thing for that other person, just one, not two, three, four, five, six, just one. Every single day, you found out that would be what would be a nice act for your spouse, and you went ahead and did that. Just one. And what if you emphasize the beauty in your kids every single day? You emphasize and you sought out the beauty in them. And then the last one that we talked about: what if you actually loved your body every single day? You appreciated. You were thankful. And, and you didn't beat yourself up over it. So what do you think would happen in 2021? So think about that, guys. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you like this podcast, please, please, please rate it. It's all over the place. Share it if you can. Um, that would be wonderful. I love doing it. And I hopefully this helps. And Jeff, have an amazing, amazing day. Thanks, guys.